So today's tutorial, so younger and plumper and all these little tricks that you can use to make your lips look a great deal bigger than they actually are. Hello lovely people. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Hey Spring Chicken. My name is Cordelia and I want to thank you if you're new here and welcome. And if you're a returning visitor, oh, thank you, thank you. I've been getting so many comments, uh, people coming up to me and it makes my day. So thank you for the returners and thank you for the newbies. Today's topic, lips and what we're going to do today are my everyday lips where we make them look younger and plumper and all these little tricks that you can use to make your lips look a great deal bigger than they actually are and i've got a couple of really good tips that um so hang around till the end and you'll see what we do to just make them look shinier and plumper so before i started I've added uh, something called, it's, there we go, it's Perlia and it's a lip primer and a lip, it it's really helps the lips. So I've already added that on. So I'm going to start with something called a lip liner that is by Studio 10. Now I already have a well used one. I've been using, the, this is my third little pencil, but I've got a nice brand new one for us today. It's just been a little godsend. This only comes in one shade. It has pink at this end, which we outline the lips. And at the other end, it is white, which we fill in once all the lip gloss or, or um, lipstick has been added. So first of all, let's just crack on. So my lips are a little bit smaller than they once were. So uh, without making them look too fake, we're going to start, rest the hand on your chin there, on your chin there, and use it as a way of stabilizing your hand if you're a little nervous. I'm not gonna talk. No, you can talk if you like. I can't I talk. So we do that half first to the other side. Come slightly below your actual lip line, but not much. To the centre. And then join it the other side. I've just made an error there, but it doesn't matter. What you can do is fill in with this if you like. And I'm just going to do a little to there. But many makeup artists suggest that you fill in with your pencil. I tend to find it, 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 it cracks and cakes. So I just, um, as I say, I'm not a huge fan of matte. And I think that's it for the lip liner. I think that's it. If, if it was an evening and if we were using a matte, um, lipstick for the evening then I would use a lip brush you can get specific lip brushes I will add to the description below if you are a fan of lip brushes so the next lipstick I'm going well the next thing I'm going to add to my lips is a nude I really like nude and you can use it as the base for many other lip colors when you put your gloss on so I do like a nude this is called lipstick queen and Lipstick Queen does masses of nude colours. You just there are about sixty, um, and the, I have quite a few. But for today, we're going to use. I'm not even sure I can read it. Something honey. honey. Sweet as honey. Sweet as honey. It, this shade is called Sweet as Honey, but it's a nude. Got pink nude. Yeah, it's got a like a pink undertone to it, but it's a nude. So I just fill it in, <coughs> like. So, I'm 
Now that is the nude. On top of my lipstick, my nude matte, I'm going to add some shine. I like shine, not everyone does, and it's totally your choice. But I'm going to use, this is just a very easy to find. So this is just a Rimmel Oh My Gloss. I have many lip glosses. So whichever one you like for your day, and, and this one I wear to work, so it's not too out there. And just over you go. So just dab it down. The reason I've done that is it just settles into the to the lips and it lasts that little bit longer. As you're probably aware, lip glosses tend not to last very long. Now for the little finishing touches. We're going to go around with a white pencil, the other end of the Studio 10. And why we're doing that is it just really brings that, the lips because when as you age they sort of disappear into the face and you need something that makes them and that accentuates your lips down into the cupid bow i'm going to show you another little tip in a minute so hang around so that's there make another little tip that we can use is just in the middle and then And then finally, Kiko little white pencil, just a tiny bit here, tiny bit there, and that is it. So a variation on this theme uh, with in terms of colours will enable you to wear it at any time of day and night. Just taking that little bit of extra time to line the, the, the lips rather than just blotting it on just makes that difference and you you will get people commenting so there we are here we are lips done it didn't take a great deal of time and it's something you can do like i do really easily so if you liked that press the like button i'm putting out content like this every single week so press the subscribe button ding that bell and it will let you know when it arrives you can also follow me on heyspringchicken.com and I have a Pinterest and I have an Instagram and I will add the links on here and you will be able to follow me and I would really like that. But first of all, I just want to say thank you to all of the supporters that are out there because without you, I wouldn't be here at all. And it's just, I really enjoy doing this. So thank you so very, very much. So see you soon. Thank you.